Good morning, everyone. This is Todd Creek Rock back for another exciting day here on the Ark Survival Evolved Vulgaro map. This is day 45 of my little adventure here. And well, overnight I've been been upgrading my base a little bit here, putting some stone walls up in case I get attacked. And then I've been trying to get my fertilizer bin going again, the compost heap. Putting some more poo in here right now. And well, I think I'm just going to take my pteranodon out. Maybe go for that purple drop over yonder. Maybe do some exploring some areas I haven't never been in before. See what I can find today. I want to do a little bit of building, but I guess I'm going to put that off a little bit longer. Make sure pteranodon's got plenty of meat. Yeah, he seems to be in good shape. So let's fly to that purple drop over there. Maybe we'll get something good out of that. Then maybe I'll head over toward that red obelisk. I don't know. It depends on how deep looking the redwood forest is. Don't really want to land in the middle of some of those big redwood trees. That kind of looks like a yellow drop right over there also. Can't tell. That just might be a reflection of sunlight on something. I'll fly over that way after I grab this purple one and see though. We'll try to explore some area we haven't been in though today. This area right here could have some raptors and stuff, so be careful. Yeah, water jars and some blueprints. Those water jars will come in handy when I start trying to cook stuff. Let's head over here and see if this yellow drop is a yellow drop. It does appear to be one. Don't know how long it's been here though, it may be about to vanish. My stamina's about drained. The area isn't safe. Yep, this might be a mistake. Yep, that seemed that worried me there. Heard a sound. Don't know what it was, and I was being pretty risky there. There's some of these big redwood trees around. I guess I could have got Thala jumped. Let's see what's up on this hillside here. Looks like we got more metal up here. What is that? Just raptors, Megalosaurus, being chased by terror birds now. Well, there's a lot of terror birds. They're back after me now. What do we got here? We got some crystal up here. Which way do I want to explore today? I was wanting to head toward that red obelisk, but I am not wanting to get in any deep redwoods. Because I won't be able to land anywhere. won't be nowhere safe to land over in here. Yeah, that rock sticking up way over there if I can make it that far. Be a safe spot to land. Of course, that may be a lot further back there than it looks. Yep, I may have messed up here. Go to slow flying. Yeah, this is not good at all. I'm going to mess around and get this Tranodon killed. I'm going to head for this rock in front of this big redwood tree if there's no thylos on that redwood tree. If there is, I don't know what I'm going to do. see a terror bird over there. I don't see no thylo on this tree though. 
So maybe I can go ahead and land long enough to get my stamina back. Got no choice now anyway. Look around here. Because there probably is some on some of these other trees. Terror birds are coming my way, in it? Yeah, my stamina's back now. Let's get up in the sky. Get up above where the thylos can jump me at. Maybe head for this pointy rock again. Maybe I've got enough stamina to make it over this time. Hope so. Looks pretty close now. So what's up here? Yep. That happens a lot when you're flying fast. Get up here and take a peek around. It's a bunch of green drops, but they're off way, way over yonder. red drop over there. Red drop's probably something good. I'm just afraid I can't even open it though. I'm gonna fly in that direction. Hope I can make it to those cliffs before my stamina runs out. There is a, a ruins right there that I've never seen before. Oh, that red drop's gonna be in a really risky place. If I die over here, I've just lost everything. This is going to be really dumb. Guarantee I can't open it anyway. Yep, that was not smart. What is this up here? This is a big fort looking place. This is some kind of castle or something. Not seeing any animals in here. This is a little worrisome though. just yet. This is where I expect to see spiders and arthropleura and stuff. I ain't seeing none. What is this? A door that's broke? Is anything behind it? Yep, don't know what to make of this place. something behind that door. Not going to let me look though, is it? Yep, I can't 
can't see. I guess there's nothing there. Yeah, I ain't seeing nothing in behind that door. This is quite a place, I have to say. Probably make a really good base. Just have to put up a big giant gateway right there. Nothing can get to you. There's a pteranodon in here. Level 95 one. I see another red drop, but it's the same one I done tried to get and couldn't get. Yeah, let's see, is there other stuff down in here? You would think this has to be a cave somewhere around here. Is this a cave entrance? Didn't go nowhere though, apparently. Yep. Just under some stairs is all that is. Pretty there'd be a cave in there. Look around the other side. This seems to be a dead end. Yep, and this just takes you right back up to where I was at earlier, doesn't it? Got a pteranodon living here is about it. Yeah, this would have probably made a really cool base. out this doorway down here. See if I can even fly through there. Yep, it's letting me. Okay, we've got a stream. Set of steps down to the stream. And a big huge wall right here for some reason or the other. This is pretty neat, actually. Let's see if I can fly up on this hilltop here. Maybe there's something up above this. More redwoods, looks like. out of it. You would think that doorway would come out if this is all there was back here. I see a Carno down there, I think. I can't get a scope on him, though. Lots of metal down there. A 140 Carno. A 85 Dimorphodon. Just hit noon time. Pretty neat looking over here. This is basically a big fortress right here. I 
We're kind of near the Arctic again, ain't we? That's an Argentavis. I thought that was something else. I haven't seen any thylacolios yet, but you just know there's some in this area. There's a megatherium. This diamond is about gone here, so I'm going to have to land. Looks safe. Well, this is a nice, nice flat little area, ain't it? There's a green drop. I think I'm just gonna flat this hillside though and not worry about that green drop. Let's see what's on top of this little mound. Looks like probably a good place for metal and stuff, but I don't know just yet. Don't see a bit. I think there'd be metal and obsidian and all kinds of stuff up here. Does not appear to be though. Flying this direction, we've got another big lake down here. Mammoths, Argentavis everywhere. Ooh, meant to land right there. Let's see if we can do it. Have a look around here. I see a Uteranus pack running around below me again. Those seem to be everywhere up here. Big huge lake. Looks like a big giant hole in the ground right over there. Let's fly over that way, I guess. See what that is. Looks like something built down there. Another ruins. Another bridge, anyway. Colicotherium. Another sheep. So what is down there? Broken down bridge, a 145 Anki. Let's see what level that RG is. 55 RG. Some kind of spring coming out of a wall right there. Lots of Argentavis is over here. Lots of Calicotherium up on this hillside. There's another Uteranus. Level 15 one. Don't know what it's screaming at. Thought it was probably screaming at me. But it doesn't appear to be. Is that a horse? 
No pets deodons. Don't want to be around deodons. This is another pretty base location right here. Looks really good. What is that? Dire wolves? I gotta find another safe landing spot now. Mammoths everywhere. Let's see if I can get up on top of that peak up above me there. I don't want to get too far over here before it gets dark though. Doesn't seem to be nothing up here much yet. Maybe up on top of this thing there might be some stuff. It appears I have found the edge of the world here. Yep, yeah, looks like I have. Huh, I can actually see my base from here. Let's take a land here and take a look at my map. Let's see if I've opened up anything. Yep. I'm just right across from my probably about probably I'm probably about ten fifty right here. Ten forty something to ten fifty. I'd say I'm right at ten fifty. Let's see, what do we want to explore from here? Okay, we are way back from where we usually come up in this area. Thinking about that purple drop, but it seems to be way over there. Guess let's go that way. See how bad it looks over there. That'd be right in the edge of the Arctic there. I think I'd be getting some cold warnings on my thing right now, but I'm not. Keep eye on that stamina. We don't want to have to land in a bad place. Got some mammoths down here. Stamina is about gone here. Yep. Disappeared right as I got there. That's a good one. We're going to have to land now. Tranodon has a level. Make sure it's safe before I try to add that. Wow, he's burning through his meat pretty quick. I'm going to have to do some hunting too, looks like. Give you some more stamina. Get you up over 500. Let's check out the top of this waterfall. here. Some more metal deposits. Some obsidian. I bet right up here is the edge of the world again. I'm going to fly on up through here anyway. Follow this little gorge. Wow, it's got a tunnel through it. What am I seeing up here? See some crystal. Some mammoths. I can check the time of day here. It's 1500 hours. My base is a long ways over that way. Let's fly a little bit further. What is this? like wood. 
That's weird looking. Yep, we right in front of that RG. It's a wonder it didn't come for me. Go up here on the Himalayas. I bet I hit a wall here any second now. Too desolate looking up here. Yep, there's the wall. Let's find us a landing spot. We're going to have to head back for base pretty quickly. I'm getting a cold warning on me now. Okay, I live right directly straight ahead of me there. It's just a long ways. Yep, yeah, let's go. This is quite a view, ain't it? If you built your house up here, you can see the whole world. Stamina is bleeding down quick again. Gonna have to land here. Hoping this rock is a safe area. See you Durantus is everywhere. Yep. Got to go. Don't want to deal with no Argentavises. This is kind of wild looking little stone archways up through here in the line. Yep, let's head on back this way. Got a long ways to go. I'm seeing the water files for my base now. I land here and get my stamina back and I should be able to fly directly over there. Now I'm gonna have to do some hunting, looks like. Maybe face some low level low level tracks or something up here I might be able to do some right there is a track or two 20 and a 135 okay the 135 is going to be a problem if we could separate them don't think we can though Levels is Bronto. 15. Let's take out a Bronto. We ain't never done that before. Should be a lot of meat and hide right there.
Stay up on that hillside there. Killed Bronto than I thought, even though it's only a level 15. Can you climb this hill? Sure is trying. level these turtles are up here. 85 and 85. There's another last true us. Completely out of meat, so I've got to get something going here. I don't know if this is worth it or not, I may use a more meat than I'm going to get. and only 38 raw meat, that's not really good. Yep, let's get back to base and cook up this prime. I'm curious about something. Can I pick up a Lystrosaur? Don't know if I can or not, but I want to try. Where'd he go? Where did the little Lystrosaur get off to? I want to know if I can pick one of those up. Fall off the cliff. There he is, I think. Yep, I can pick up a Lystro. What level is this thing? A 140? Wow. I guess I'm taking a Lystro home with me. I'm going to have to land, though. I'm going to take him to the base and feed him up overnight. 140 is a pretty good one. That'll help me with my level ups. Doesn't look like I've got him, but I do. I really should have just fed him a berry while he was over there. Then he might have been ready for a second one time I got him back to base. That's some wild maneuver in there with him shaking around three feet below me. I 
Let's get this prime meat cooking and feed this last trow of berry. Okay, last row. You want a berry? Couple pieces of this prime meat might look at last row get right in the fire when I get this to going. You need to stay away from these cooking things over here, okay? Go. And that light, oh, he's stuck in the floor. You need to stay over there. How long is it going to take for you to get hungry again? Astro, 9%. That ain't too bad, I don't guess. Just need to stay away from the fire. I should put it out just as quick as this meat gets done. Charcoal and hide. Got a flu few blueprints. Dino Gateway, Adobe, and another water jar. Put the water jars in this cooking pot, I guess. That's where they need to be. That way I can make stuff. Got another one here somewhere. Don't know where he's at though. There it is. And I got these blueprints I need to put up. Let's check the Laster Shore again first though. Where are you at? Stuck in the floor. 97, you're going down in efficiency quite fast. Come on, eat again. 23%. I won't put nothing in there. This would be where these blueprints need to go. That one I don't know about. This thing is a gun attachment that I probably will never use. I guess I'm just going to throw it in here. See what time of day it is. Here it is, 2100 hours. Hell, all I'm going to do is feed this plaster store and tame it up. So I'm probably going to call it a day here. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. This is Todd Creek Rock signing out.